Welcome to the spoken tutorial on special effects on text using Inkscape. In this tutorial, we will learn to create reflected text, label the text, and change the case of the text. To record this tutorial, I am using Ubuntu Linux 12.04 OS. All the previous tutorials in this series were recorded in 0.48.4. From this tutorial, I will record in the version 0.91, which is the latest stable version. Let us open Inkscape. First, we will learn to create a reflected text. Select the text tool and type the word spoken. Make the text bold. Let me zoom into the text so that we can see the demo clearly. Now, go to object menu and select fill and stroke option. Then under the fill tab click on linear gradient. Click on the gradient handles as shown now and change the gradient colors to red and blue. Align the gradient vertically. So now the gradient should be red at the top and blue at the bottom as shown on the screen. Click on the selector tool and press ctrl plus D to duplicate the text. Now press V on the keyboard to flip the duplicated text. We can also use the option available on the tool controls bar to flip. Now we will move the duplicated text below the original text such that it appears as a mirror image. Now select the gradient tool and click on the bottom gradient handle. Come back to the fill and stroke dialog box. Here. We will change the alpha value to 0. We will also move the bottom handle a bit in the upward direction. Click on the selector tool. Now reduce the opacity to 80 and press enter. Our reflected text is complete now. Zoom out a little to see it better. Next we will learn to create a labeled text. First of all we will create a rectangle in green color. Since the alpha value is 0, it is not visible now. Change it to 255 and press enter. Now type the text spoken tutorial on the rectangle. Click on the selector tool and change the size of the rectangle according to the text. Next select the text. Now press ctrl plus D to duplicate the text. The duplicate text is exactly above the original text. Change the color of the text to white, then go to path menu and click on object to path option. Now click on object menu and then on ungroup option. Again go to path menu and click on union option. On the tool controls bar, click on lower selection one step icon. Once again, Go to path menu and this time we will click on linked offset option. Click on the handle that appears on the text and drag it to make the outline bigger. Click on the selector tool then click on the text and move it down. Observe there is another text created. Select the text and delete it. Now select the outline part and click on the notes tool. On the tool controls bar, click on convert selected object to path tool. Now you can see the nodes on the outline. Select the unwanted nodes in the middle and delete them. As demonstrated here. Click on the selector tool again and move the text back to its original position. Change the color of the text to green. Select the outline part and press ctrl plus D to duplicate it. Once again, remember that the duplicate outline is exactly above the original. Change the color to black. Then on the tool controls bar, click on lower selection one step icon three times. Lastly, in the fill and stroke dialog box, decrease the opacity to 60 and increase the blur to 7. After doing this, we will make a hanger for the label. So click on the ellipse tool. Then press Ctrl key and draw a circle on the top left of the rectangle so as to make a hole on the label. 
press control plus D to duplicate the circle and move the circle to the other end of the rectangle. Next, click on the Bezier tool and draw a curvy line as demonstrated. The line drawn should look like a hanger. On the fill and stroke dialog box, under stroke style, change the width to 5. Now, our label the text is ready. Let us zoom out and have a better look at it. Next, let us learn how to change the case of the text in Inkscape. Click on the text tool and type alphabets on the canvas. Notice that the entire text is in lowercase. Now go to extensions menu and click on the option named text and then on change case. You will see some options. Let me click on the option uppercase. Observe that the case of the text alphabet has changed to uppercase. Again click on the text, go to extensions menu, then on the text and lastly on change case. This time select random case option. Observe the change in the case of the text. You can try the other options on your own. With this we have come to the end of this tutorial. Let us summarize. In this tutorial we have learned to create reflected text, label the text, and change the color of the text from lowercase to uppercase and random case. Here is an assignment for you. Create the text in scape reflected on a surface. Create the text in scape and change the text case to flip case. Your completed assignment should look like this. The video available at the following link summarizes the spoken tutorial project. Please watch it. The spoken tutorial project team conducts workshops and gives certificates for those who pass an online test. For more details, please write to us. Spoken Tutorial Project is supported by the NME ICT MHRD Government of India. More information on this mission is available at this link. This is Arti, Priya and Saurabh from IIT Bombay signing off. Thanks for joining.